Hello guys, my name's Rob, this channel is Decoded, and today we're going to cover what's probably the coolest material texture we've done so far. Okay, if you've ever tried to take a picture of a television screen or a phone screen with a camera, you probably know that it doesn't look to the camera how it looks to your eyes. Uh, modern flat screens are made up of millions and millions of different little RGB LEDs or LCDs and depending on how they light up, changes the color of the image, right? That's why when people make a screen in 3D, they tend to make it look like this. It'll just be an emission shader with the image plugged in, maybe with a bit of glossy mixed in, and it looks kind of like a lit up poster. It doesn't look like a camera's took a picture of a screen at all. It should look something like this, right? You get all these weird artifacts, so you get like banding, effects and if you zoom in close enough you can actually see the individual pixels that's the coolest thing about this tutorial i'm going to show you there look at that that's so cool right so let's get started with this so i'm going to go back to this original one here and i'm just going to get rid of all of this crap i might as well keep the uv wrapped image though so i'll, I'll save that over there for later and i'm going to add in a texture coordinate node and I'm going to add in a mapping node, okay? We're going to get the UV and we're going to plug it into the vector. And then under the rotation, we're going to go down to Z and we're going to give that a minus 90. Now we're going to add in one node, which is the gradient texture. I'm going to copy this down, okay? We're going to get the vector output and plug it into the vector. And if we have a look at what this does, it just gives us a gradient that goes from black to white all the way up. Now we're going to get a math node. Okay. And we're going to duplicate the math node too. So I'm going to press Shift and D and drag that down. So now we've got two of each on each line. I'm going to set both these math nodes to multiply. Okay and I'm going to connect the color up to the top of this one too. These are both lines are going to be exactly the same. Only this one's going to be plugged into the mapping and the bottom one isn't. Right. Now we're going to duplicate this again, the uh, math node, and we're going to set it to this uh, modulo. And then I'm going to duplicate that down as well. Connect that up and connect this up. I'm going to move these three nodes out of the way. I'll explain what I'm doing in a second. I know I'm just adding loads of nodes here. I will explain this. Right, so we're going to add in a color ramp and we're going to duplicate this too. Right, so now let's make sense of this. So what we've done here is we've got this gradient and we've put it into the multiply. And these settings here are going to depend on the resolution that you want your screen to be. So this original image, this, this picture of this lady here is uh, 2,500 by 2,000. Okay, so the height is gonna go into this number and the width is gonna go into this number. In my case, it's 2,500 by 2,000. And what that does, if we have a zoom in here, it just adds lines with the, the correct number of pixels, right? Because what we're going to do is we're going to replicate that RGB grid. Okay, so if we come over to here, we're going to add the color ramp into here. And we're going to add this color ramp into here, okay? We're going to set both of these modulo nodes to 1. And on the top node here, we're just going to set this to constant. And I'm going to drag this along a little bit, something like 0.9. Okay, and that'll start to give us the screen effect. And then if we add in a couple of air handles to this node, set this to constant as well. And then make sure you've got it set to RGB, right? The first one, just click on this here, bring up the red channel. Bring the green and the blue down. The second handle, do the green 
and bring the other colours down. No, I've got that wrong, haven't I? This one. No, I was right the first time. RGB, obviously. Right, so put that back where that was. Right, so we've got the red, green, and blue. Let's separate them up so they're about the same size. And what I want is to have a little bit of black at either side. So it goes black, red, green, blue, black. And if you want, this is an extra touch. I suppose you don't have to do this, but you can also add a little black stripe to uh, to the outside. Something like this. Whoops, wrong one. Okay, so if I go black. Right, so now, if we take a look at this color ramp, you can see it's added the stripes. It's went black, red, green, blue, then the black outline. And if we have a look at the other way, we've got horizontal black and white stripes. So now what we can do is we can add in a mix RGB shader. We can get this top one is the factor. And we can get the bottom is the first color. And that will split it up. So it will repeat the pattern that's on the bottom. And it will split it up with a line break that's been set by the top. And then all we need to do is go to the color, bring it down to black. And there we have our pixel grid. Right, now all we need to do to finish the effect is we need to merge this uh, RGB grid with the image, with the texture image. And that's pretty simple to do. If we come over to here, I'll move these along so we've got a little bit more space. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to copy this node over to here. We're going to drag the color output. I'm going to stick it into the color. We're going to put the factor all of the way up. Then we're going to get our image texture. I'm going to plug that into the second one. We're going to set the mode on this to multiply. It does also work. Let's just have a look at this. It does also work uh, if you set it to darken, to be honest, it doesn't really seem to make much of a difference. But now we have the basic effect where we have the, the RGB grid and we have the girl. But obviously the image looks a little bit too dim right now. So what we need to do is mix this in to an emission shader. Right, so we'll plug this into an emission. Take a look at this. And let's kick the strength up to something like eight. You can play around with the strength depending on how bright you want your screen to be. You know, I, like I said, I like eight. I think that looks pretty good. So let's keep that on eight. The last thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in a mix shader. I'm gonna put this at the end and I'm gonna add in a glossy, okay? I'm going to set the glossy to something like 0.2, stick that in the second output. Then I'm going to get the image texture and I'm going to use that as the color of the glossy node. And there we have it guys, that is our screen texture fully completed. If you're doing any sort of render where you've got like a computer screen or a television or a phone, especially if you want to have a close up shot in there then this will take it absolutely to the next level. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Please stick around for the next ones by subscribing. Hit the like button, it really helps out. Also, if you turn on notifications, I've noticed quite a few people are now turning notifications on for my videos, which is really cool. Um, hope you enjoyed this one. Like I said, guys, I'll catch you for the next video.